All right, here's the heavyweight contender, Francis Ngannou, DC. Prevailing wisdom is that eventually he's going to find his way back into a UFC title fight. Had the first fight against Stipe that didn't go his way. This is as big a power threat as this division really has ever seen. You don't lose. You get an opportunity to learn. Right. And Francis Ngannou learned from the fight with Stipe Miocic at UFC 220. And it was evident when he made his way back to the octagon. Curtis Blades was a guy that could employ the same type of strategy as Stipe Miocic did. But Francis disposed of him in the first round. Cain Velasquez was another guy that could employ that strategy. Francis disposed of him in 28 seconds. He's only getting better because he has not been fighting for very long. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Francis the Predator and God. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out there. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, that is a huge left hook from Francis Ngannou. Somehow, some way, his opponent's still standing. I mean, I, I, this guy's chin is made of granite in order to take a punch like that from Francis Ngannou. One of the most powerful guys I've ever seen step into the UFC octagon. It won't take many of those. Moment. He just 
deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Ho! Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And Gano's shot is blocked. Big body kick land. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Francis and Gano. Ooh, what a punch. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Block that kick to the body. Do not back up. Let's go forward now. All right, two minutes now to go in the round. Calm down. It's okay. Nice. Oh, how about the right hand from Francis Ngannou? It's hard to watch. I can't imagine it feels awful. You watch Francis put out an entire generation of heavyweight that came before him. Put out Overeem, put out Velasquez, put out Dos Santos, and he did it all with that beautiful right hand. It is one of the deadliest weapons in all of mixed martial arts. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Lee. Oh, he's hurt. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, he's got the reach advantage, you might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got Whoa! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. Final seconds of round one. Whiffs on that offering. What a round. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. All right, here we go with round two. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by and got it. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. 
He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. And Gano's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throw. Oh. He didn't like that left hand. He's got him hurt here. Back to the feet. Oh! He's out! shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched blood. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rodriguez is going to stop this contest at one minute, 36 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Francis the Predator. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.